The secrets of Hitler that very few people know. One of the most well-known and despised people in history is Adolf Hitler. As the head of Nazi Germany, Hitler was responsible for the planning of the Holocaust and World War II, which claimed the lives of at least 40 million people. He was the focus of numerous books, documentaries, and TV series throughout the following decades. Some well-known and a few lesser-known facts about him are included in this list. Heil Schickelgruber Hitler was very nearly the same as Schickelgruber, or Hitler, Adolf, although was his father, was given Maria Anna Schickelgruber's surname after he was born out of wedlock. But around the age of 40, Alois chose to take on the last name of Johann Georg Hitler, his stepfather, who some believe to be his biological father. Hitler was listed as the new last name on the official paperwork, however, it is unclear why the spelling was changed. Before he married Clara Polzel for the third time, Alois Hitler was married twice and had multiple children. Adolf and his sister were the only two of the couple's six children to reach adulthood. Adolf loved his mother and was devastated by her death from breast cancer in 1907. He had a tense relationship with his father, who passed away in 1903. Service in World War I Hitler was wearing the Iron Cross First Class Medal he had received for his participation in World War I when he took his own life in 1945. Hitler, who had presented himself as a hero during the war, valued the award greatly. Hitler claimed to have been wounded during the First Battle of the Somme, 1916, but new evidence contradicts this claim. Many think he was a runner in the comparatively safe regimental headquarters and saw little, if any, action on the front lines. This would refute his assertion that he was probably every day in danger. Furthermore, he claimed to have been briefly blinded in 1918 following a muster gas attack but alleged medical records claimed he was suffering from hysterical blindness. When Germany capitulated, he was still recovering. Surprisingly, Hitler's Iron Cross First Class Citation makes no mention of any particular act of bravery. As a result, some scholars theorize that it was awarded to recognize Hitler's tenure and his overall popularity among officers, particularly Hugo Gutmann, a Jewish lieutenant, who suggested Hitler be given the award. Main Kampf the band bestseller. While serving a high treason sentence in jail in 1924, Hitler started writing what would come to be regarded as one of the most dangerous novels in history. Hitler documented his life and articulated his racist philosophy in Mein Kampf, My Struggle, which was first published in two volumes, 1925 and 1927. He said that while residing in Vienna, he turned into a fanatical anti-Semite. Mein Kampf was not as successful at first, but its popularity increased along with that of Hitler and the Nazis. More than 5 million copies of this National Socialism Bible had been sold by 1939, when it was made mandatory reading in Germany. The work was outlawed in Germany and other nations. Following Hitler's death and the copyright-holding German state of Bavaria declined to provide publishing rights. Nonetheless, a few overseas publishers kept printing the piece, and when the copyright expired in 2016, it became publicly available. A few days later, Germany saw the publication of a substantially annotated Mein Kampf for the first time since 1945. It rose to the top of sales. From the Fuhrer to the Fire, Hitler became Germany's Chancellor in January 1933 after a string of deceptions and spins. But on February 27, 1933, when Germany's parliamentary building caught fire and suffered significant damage, he was able to fulfill his ambition of even greater authority. Hitler made use of the Reichstag fire to further his authority. Even though it is still unclear how involved he was a single communist was eventually found guilty of the crime. He ordered the suspension of all civil liberties the day after the fire, and in the election that followed, the Nazis and their supporters were able to take a majority in the Reichstag. Hitler's dictatorship was authorized when the Reichstag passed the Enabling Act on March 23, 1933. Then, soon after President Paul von Hindenburg passed away in August 1934, the German people decided to grant Hitler total power by combining the roles of president and chancellor to become the position of Führer und Reichskanzler, leader and chancellor, a critic of art. Hitler's unsuccessful artistic career received a lot of attention. He struggled to make ends meet when living in poverty and was turned down by the Vienna Academy of Fine Arts. But his passion for painting only seemed to grow once he was appointed Fuhrer. Hitler detested modern trends like Dada, Impressionism, and Cubism, but embraced the idealized art of classical Greece and Rome. 
Nazis started removing this kind of degenerative art from German museums in the 1930s. Later, at a 1937 Multicity exhibition, contemporary pieces by Paul Klee, Pablo Picasso, Wilhelm Lembruck, and Emil Nold were displayed and labeled as culture documents of the decadent work of Bolsheviks and Jews. Hitler reportedly ordered the most wanted stolen artifact to be the Ghent altar piece, and he ordered an unprecedented scale of systematic art theft throughout the war. The Fuhrer Museum, a proposed super museum in Linz, Austria, was supposed to house this piece as well as others. Vegetarian, teetotaler, and drug user. Aside from their promotion of health-conscious measures, the Nazis were recognized for their efforts to create a master Aryan race. Hitler was purportedly a vegetarian, non-smoker, and teetotaler, so this may not come as a surprise. His purported opiate addiction, however, compromised his otherwise healthy lifestyle. Recent studies reveal that Theodor Morell, his physician, started injecting him with a variety of narcotics in 1941, including cocaine, methamphetamine, morphine, and oxycodone. In actuality, it is said that drug usage was widespread inside the Nazi party and amphetamine was frequently administered to soldiers before combat. Hitler shook frequently toward the end of his life. While some have suggested that this was caused by Parkinson's disease, others have theorized that it was the result of medication withdrawal, which was difficult for Hitler to get at the time. A billionaire. Maybe motivated by his past destitution, Hitler appeared committed to accumulating personal wealth. A significant portion of his income was obtained by dependable means, such as embezzling public funds and taking corporate donations. But he also devised more inventive plans. Notably, after taking office as chancellor, he commanded the government to purchase copies of his mean camp to present to newlyweds as state wedding presents, which resulted in large royalties for Hitler. Moreover, he declined to make income tax payments. He made advantage of his enormous fortune. Some have estimated it was worth $5 billion to buy exquisite furniture, build an enormous art collection, and buy several houses. Bavaria received his estate after the war. Nobel Prize Scandal A Swedish lawmaker proposed Hitler for the Nobel Peace Prize in 1939. He meant it as a joke, but not many laughed at it. Rather, it caused a commotion, and the nomination was swiftly rescinded. It is unlikely that Hitler would have desired or been capable of accepting the honor. The 1935 Peace Prize winner was German journalist Karl von Ossietzky, who was a strong opponent of Hitler and was declared the winner in 1936. The gesture was interpreted as an insult to Germany and a criticism of Nazism. Hitler instituted the German National Prize for Art and Science as a substitute and forbade any German from receiving a Nobel Prize. Though they eventually obtained diplomas and medals, the three Germans who went on to win Nobel Prizes during the Third Reich were compelled to turn down their honors. Death and Theories of Conspiracy With the war lost and Soviet forces moving forward, Hitler shot himself to death in his Berlin subterranean bunker on April 30, 1945. He had lately married Eva Braun, who also committed suicide. Hitler desired that their remains be burned before being interred. Well, that's the story of his death that's been largely accepted. Conspiracy theories started to surface almost immediately, partly because of the Soviets. They disseminated stories that Hitler was alive and being shielded by the West, after first claiming they couldn't verify his death. Joseph Stalin, the leader of the Soviet Union, claimed not to know what would happen to Hitler when questioned by U.S. President Harry Truman. Later versions, however, state that his charred remains were found by the Soviets and identified by dental records. The body was interred covertly before being dug up and burned. The ashes were dispersed in 1970, but a fragment of the skull which had sustained a single bullet wound and had not been discovered until 1946 was preserved. Even still, the skepticism persisted, and it only got worse in 2009 when scientists discovered that the piece of the skull belonged to a woman. Did you like it? Tell us what you think of the video in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos.